I make this for you. 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 I just want to thank the good Lord for this win. You know, it's all about the good Lord. The good Lord just shined down on us today, man. Just thank the good Lord for this win. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Who is the goddamn bad Lord? So there is a bad Lord? You saying the good Lord is insinuating that there's a bad one. Who is the bad one? Is it a motherfucking drug Lord? Is it goddamn El Chapo? Who is the bad Lord? I just want to thank you to say thank you to the man upstairs. You know, if it wasn't for the man upstairs, you know, none of this would have been going on. Hold on, motherfucker. Did the man upstairs magically morph to the game and help you win? How did the goddamn man upstairs help you fucking win? You the one that played the sport. Where was the man upstairs? So are you saying you cheated? You had some accompaniment? Talk to me, goddammit. Y'all saying shit that don't make goddamn sense to me. Vibe with me important can you repeat what you just said please well last friday i received a seven page document that sort of told me that if i had an 86 year old patient that had pneumonia but was never tested for covid19 but sometime after she came down with pneumonia we learned that she had been exposed to her son who had no symptoms but later on was identified with covid19 that it would be appropriate to diagnose on the death certificate, COVID-19. Now, we've not done that. If someone has the pneumonia after, and, and it's in the middle of a flu epidemic and I don't have a test on influenza, I don't diagnose influenza on the death certificate. I will say uh, this elderly patient Sir, died of pneumonia. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I, my heart is sinking right now as you're telling me this. You're, you're a doctor. Why in the world would they be sending you out information to fill out death certificates, whether the person's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or not, but then to say in the death certificate this person's death was caused by COVID-19? That, that does not sound right to me. I went to the person in our office who does most of the death certificates over the last you know, 10, 20 years, and I said, does this sound right? I had her look at the documents that I printed it off, and she said, well, we've always been told that you always put down just facts. You don't put down any probabilities. You don't put any presumptions down. It's just what you know. And so this is concerning. And, and it actually gets to your point, Chris. When we start talking about the data that goes into the modeling, we have to ask ourselves a question. Are we being forthright? Are we sharing with the public? Minnesota, North Dakota, we don't need to be having it sugar-coated. We want to know... But what's going into your modeling? So with that being said, why would they want to skew the number of deaths due to COVID-19? Well, fear is a great way to control people. And fear is a great way to control people. And fear is a great way to control people. And I worry about that. I worry that sometimes we're so darn... I make this for you. Is Big Sam presents wrong. What up, everybody? Fear is a great way to control people. However, we have the choice. We don't have to live in fear. and We don't have to succumb to fear. We can always be informed. There's nothing wrong with being informed at all. You must stay informed. Be as informed as possible, you know what I'm saying? Um... But I don't know what to believe as relates to what's going on with the COVID stuff. I do know this. Whatever the hell is going on, it's wiping out people. Apparently. I don't know anyone that has died of this sickness. Um, that does. I mean, I, I, I personally just don't know anyone. 
but I know that whatever the hell is going on, whatever it is, it ain't nothing to take too lightly. Um, there's I I I've been very guilty of not so much as like um uh, not so much as to blowing it off. I've made a lot of jokes about the shit, right? But I don't want to get overly serious about it to the point that I just become um start living in fear. So I make light of those things. And as well as naturally, that's how I deal with stuff. So that I don't get scared. I find the good in the situation. And I grow it. And make light of it. So. I have made a lot of jokes about the shit that's going on. But please understand there is a seriousness in the, in the midst of the jokes. Because we do have a responsibility to look out for ourselves and try to live the best life that we possibly can and as most healthy and productive as possible. And in doing so, it may require us sharing information with each other on how and things that, that we do to stay healthy and to stay safe. I, for one, am not here to push a conspiracy theory agenda on any person. I just know whatever the hell is going on, we really got to stay safe. For real, for real. Pussy. I can't see what's about these niggas house burning. These niggas watch me from a jail cell. Niggas hold. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say. Nigga say I cooperated. Bow, 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 man. Bow, 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 bow. You stupid bitch. Bow, 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 my wife. Huh? Bow, my wife. Say how to get it. Get up. Come here. Tell about. Tell about this girl right here. My wife. You talking about my wife? It's at it's my house that I paid for. Not a big dad daddy did. And not a big dad daddy. I ain't never accepted no one thing from her in my life. Why? Because y'all be playing with me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Nah, I don't give anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pair of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever wore. I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches. But, but, with them black Chanel shoes. Okay. Tell me why this bitch ass nigga. Poke on me from jail. What the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you is a bitch. This nigga gonna say I cooperated with the or I, I cooperated with the police. Man, you stupid bitch. Seventeen, and I was telling him we we could like talk talk on him. Yeah, we could talk like yeah, like I, shit, fuck, gotcha. damn, like I, fuck, I, like fuck crackers. I got. <laughs> Say cracker one time. It feels so good. Crack. The cracker. You got come on, cracker. Yeah. yeah. I, I was selling better. Look. Uh, we from New Orleans. Only key to survive is kill. If the elements don't murder you, the ride as well. With your right hand, a change for a dollar bill. And D boys cop keys to survive for real. Surviving still. Look, who supply your niggas? It's money to get. And I ain't got time for niggas saying they got this and that. Pay no mind to niggas. I'm like Daniel in the den with these lying niggas. But check, I ain't got time for it. Or time for them. Bitches love me like I'm time for it. Or my cause. Shit, I was told love is blind. A Damn shame, bitches still got an eye for it, an eye for it Scared money don't make none I'm dream chasing like a nigga can't wake up They hate us, can't wait to see a nigga down Let's fuck the world, we just waiting till that day come Coalition, west side of the crescent Reside on the crescent, we living just to see 25 is a blessing Young niggas 15, I divide you in seconds And subtract your ass by multiplying the weapons It's real here, and I ain't got a lie to kick it Lights to carry, they ain't gotta hide the smithin'. Since a youngin', we was told that struggling ain't for soldiers. So since then, I made up my mind to get it. They say keep your grass cut and beware of intruders. Beware your dogs, shit, or beware the rulers. Niggas wanna be a king until they stare the ruler. If you gon' break bread with niggas, then beware the Judas. Cold summer.
I made this for you. It's Big Sam presents Raw.